Hello, welcome back to Moonshine Stitchery. Today is my one year anniversary of my first floss tube video. So we're gonna have a whip parade. I've been waiting till I got one year in to share my whips with you guys, all of my whips. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. This is my basket of whips. It's a big old uh, Home Depot tote. And there are a lot, a lot of projects in here. That I want to share with you. So we're not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to pull from this bucket and let's go ahead and get started. So let's start this whip parade. You guys have seen this one quite a few times on my channel so far. This is the Fox by Cottage Garden Samplings. I am doing this on Code of Doves Atomic Ranch 18 Count Ada. I started this on May 4th, 2022, and the most recently that I worked on it was January 20th, 2023. I really, really love this series. I have all of them, and I do plan to stitch more on these. And when I'm stitching this, I really love it. So I'm using the called for DMCs, and I think there's like a few overdyes in there. And yeah. I really like this piece. It's just that I really like a lot of other things too. This next whip is one of two full coverage pieces that I have going. This is the Grand Library from Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm stitching this on 28 count plain Lugana and I started this on July 10th, 2022. The most recent that I've worked on it is August 17th, 2022. I tend to prefer pulling out my other full coverage piece. Um, as you can see, I will be putting the full designs on the screen to save time um, while I talk about my whips. And the reason this one doesn't have more progress is um, it's just, it's small enough that I'm not seeing enough progress to keep me enticed. But I really, really love the artwork and so I do want to work on this some more. It's just that Maybe I'm a only one full coverage at a time type of gal because whenever I think about doing full coverage, I p end up pulling out my spring montage, which you'll see coming up here later. So not a lot done on this, but you know what? It's not really about the finish. It's more about how much joy it's bringing me. This next piece is Witchy Dreams from Barbara Anna Designs. I'm stitching this on a 32 count Murano hand dyed by me. This is the one that has all the little pink splotches in it that you can find at the craft store. And um, I really love this pattern. I love it. I got it out last month for my 13th of the month um, Halloween stitching. I didn't get it out this month, so it didn't get any more work on it since the last time you saw it, but I'm not too far away from a finish as you can see. Um, it's the same old story. It's just, there's a lot of other things that I want to stitch as well. I do love that when this is finished, it's going to be a companion piece with the Barbarana that I finished, the Sam Hain Dreams that was in the Punch Needle Primitives magazine. So I'm excited for these two to be chilling together. Um, and I have another Barbarana Designs that I want to start, but I, I think I need to finish this first. So anyway, I love her. I'm stitching this with DMC. This is 2 over 2 on 32 count. And I think that's everything you need to know about it. This lovely piece is Fruits of Plenty from Modern Folk Embroidery. I love Modern Folk Embroidery and I have three or four, I think, started. And then I just squirrel away. Um, but this is on 40 count, dyed by me. It has lots of yummy um, golds and greens in it. Not really gold, more yellow, chartreuse and green. And then it's on a base of some cream that also has a little bit more um, beigey browns that I put on it. So I'm using just General Arts Carriage Black and Deep Sea. I started this on September 10th and I have not put any more stitches in it since then, sadly, um, but I will. <laughs> Next up we have an Autumn Lane pattern. This is Autumn Town. I started so many great autumn pieces this last fall. And this is stitched on a piece of 40 count dyed by me. I wanted it to be this kind of, it's definitely a spring green, but it's a little bit um, grunged out just a little bit, 
because there are a number of places in this pattern where you need to have the green background. It's an unstitched area. And I'm stitching with this, this with the Call for Flosses. I started it on November 28th, and uh, the last time I put any stitches into it was December 7th. And um, yeah, it's a mix of DMCs and some Glorianas. I think Black Cherry, I don't know why it's not in my bag here. And then there's another Gloriana. It is Apricot Grove, and there's some Weak Dye Works as well. Molasses and Squash. And then um, the rest of them are DMC. So this is stitched one over two. And I really enjoy it. When I feel like stitching fall again, I'm gonna grab this out. This is a new start since my last video. This is Summer Quaker from Leela Studio. I'm stitching this on 40 count, again, dyed by me with kind of indigo grays. And I decided not to use the called for um, DMCs. I decided to completely convert this into over dyed. If you're interested in my conversion, um, you can definitely DM me or let me know down in the comments below. Um, I just love the colors of this piece. This ended up being my favorite market piece from Nashville Market 2023 and I could not wait to start it when I got it in the mail. So really pleased working on this so far. It's just so delightful and I'm doing one strand over two on 40 count and um, yeah. Just working on the first page here, which as you can see ends right here. Oh, it doesn't go too much farther down there actually, and I'll have that first page complete. So really love it. Next up, this is my Chatelaine. This is Holland Springtime Mandala. I'm just stitching this on 18 count plain Ada because I wanted that strong contrast between the white and the blues in here. This piece is such a treat to work on every single time I pull it out. Um, I'm using all the called for flosses and beads. As you can see, I'm beading as I go. I'm not putting in like the big um, statement piece of beads yet, but I am doing everything as I go, like back stitching and everything. These little windmill have the back stitches in them. So really love, as you can see, I've got some Krynik in here and down here as well. I just, I just love this. I love it so much. Um, it is a bigger piece, so I've got it rolled up like this, so it's not as convenient for bringing as, as many places, like when I'm waiting for kids at dance and therapy and things like that. Um, or I would probably work on it even more. But um, yeah, I encourage you, if you are wanting to start a Chatelaine piece, I encourage you to do it. You're going to have a great time. Oh, and I started this on January 1st. This was my new year, new start. And the last time I worked on it, actually, um, I think this is incorrect. My notes say January 9th, but I'm pretty sure it's been more recent than that. Sometime late February, I think. The next piece I wanna share is my Mirabilia. It always surprises me when I remember what I'm stitching this on. This almost burlap feeling fabric um, this is Garden Prelude from Mirabilia. I love it. I love that the focus of the piece is a musician. I love all the colors, everything. Um, I'm stitching this on 32 count natural brown white shell, which is what was called for. I started this on May 15th, and the last time that I worked on it was December 29th when it got pulled for my random draw. So I've only worked on this two times. I would enjoy this much more if I were stitching one strand. I just don't love two strand stitching as much as one strand stitching. And I know Heidi's doing her Mirabilia with just one strand. Maybe I will change that up next time that I start a Mirabilia because I just know that I would love it even more. So I do really love it. Um, I'm not feeling called to stitch on it quite as much, I think, because of... Um, just the pleasure that I get from stitching my pieces that have just the one strand. So, um, really, really enjoy it. I guess I'm kind of waiting for it to be called again on my random draw. I purposefully have not chosen any white chelt fabric after um, probably when I picked up this fabric for this piece because I just don't really love it. But, you know, you love, you learn. I'm stitching this with all of the called for flosses and the bead pack and all that stuff will come 
as we get there. Oh, this one is so fun. This is Jenny Bean's Christmas from Shakespeare's Peddler. This is a piece of 40 count um, vintage country mocha or just country mocha, I'm not sure. And I'm using the called for um, over dyed flosses and I only stitched on this one day apparently. Um, I started it on December 14th. If I stitched on it a second day, I did not write that down. I feel like I did at least two days on this and then I moved on to a different Christmas project. So yeah, I think it's really cute. I love this floss here that you use for the font. At this moment, I can't remember what it is, but I went ahead and picked up a number of Jenny Bean patterns after starting this because I discovered how fun she was to stitch on. Here, I'm sure you recognize this pattern. This is Lila's Studio again, Halloween Quaker. This is on 28 count cauldron from Picture This Plus, I think. And um, I think again here, the reason I don't have more work done on this is because I'm stitching it two floss, two strands over two and I really love this design. I love Lila's studio clearly. I just, um, you know, you change, you not only do you change your opinion of what fabrics you like and stuff over time, but when I picked this up, I was just getting back into cross stitch and just discovering all the different kinds of linens and fabrics there were and designers and everything. And I kind of wanted to try a little bit of everything and see what I liked. And I don't love stitching on even weave as much as I like stitching on linen, but I do need to get back to this because I love Lila Studio. I just wish that I were stitching this um, one over two. I wish, I wish, I wish, but isn't that cute? Those candy corns are so cute. I think Lila's Studio, the designer is a genius. So I absolutely love this. I started this on May 19th, 2022. I'm using all the called for flosses. The last time that I, I've only picked this up three times. The last time was on October 20th, 2022. This next whip is Red Cardinals from Al Forest Embroidery. And um, this is a restart. I f initially started this on a piece of 16 count Ada. I was stitching it with the called for DMCs. I really did not like it. So I switched. I'm now stitching it on Historic Green Fabric Flare. I'm stitching one over two with my own conversion of Dinky Dyes and I'm enjoying it much more. Um, the colors that I chose were a little more muted than the flosses that would have come if I bought this as a kit, which I really kind of wish that I did buy it as a kit, but that's okay. You know, everything is a learning process about what you like, so. If you ever are interested in my conversion for this pattern, just let me know. Give me a shout in the comments. I started this on June 25th. I restarted it on August 25th and um, that's the last date that I have that I worked on it. So I guess maybe I did all of this in one or two days, I'm thinking, and then I put it away. This is officially my saddest whip. This is one of my mania starts from last year. I started this on May 21st, and this is Gathering Honey from Luminous Fiber Arts. I'm stitching this on Light Mocha 32 count, and I believe this is a white chelt, and I just, I don't love it. I don't love the fabric, but more than that, um, and I'm stitching two over two, as you can see, another reason that I don't love it. But also this was the second to last day of mania last year and I was burnt out from mania at this point and that is literally all I did on this project, which is so sad because I love this pattern. It's so cute. I love yellow. I love her whole series, but I wanted to start with Gathering Honey because I love yellow. So yeah, started on May 21st. I've been waiting all year for it to get drawn in my random draw when I draw a new project to work on every floss tube and it has never gotten drawn. So I wonder if we'll go a whole year without putting any more into it. But you know, this will still be in my, I'm using um, Week Schneckley by the way. I mean, I chose my own floss for this. But um, when I, when this comes up for Mania again this year, I will, put a lot into it unless it's already come up and I've finished it before then because this is not a big pattern so anyway 
Yes. So sad. This small little start is Scarlet House Smith Sampler. I was so excited to start this piece. Um, I didn't end up loving it as much as I was hoping that I would. And I'm pretty sure I know why. So this is on R&R um, &R Mayflower Mocha. And I over dyed it a little bit. And I thought that I would love this almost deep kind of gingerbread brown for this pattern. And I don't think that I do. I think I might need to restart this on something a little lighter. Or maybe I should just continue it and just, you know, put some more stitches into it. What do you guys think? Restart or continue on this fabric? It's really different um, from, the, from the picture of, as you're seeing up here. Um, and I thought it would be really fun, but I'm just not loving how these colors work on it. The other thing that I didn't love about this is I am stitching this with the Vicki Clayton Silk Conver Conversion Pack. I started this on September 2nd, by the way, and I did this, all of this on September 2nd, and then I switched projects, and I was so excited to start this, so I don't know why I didn't give it more time. This is 40 count, and I'm stitching it, um, one over two. And I have learned that 103s and Vicki Clayton silks, for example, are maybe a little too thin. I like my silks to have just a little more plumpness for me personally, for the enjoyability. And so tactily, it just wasn't as pleasing as I had hoped it would be. So it's a combination of the color contrast here and the silks that are just not my favorite. I, I really think they're a good product. It's just for me, I like something just a tiny bit thicker. So sadly, this is all I have done on Smith Sampler. I've seen so many people stitch this and it just looks divine. And so I really need to put some more work into it. It's just, do you guys think I should start it over so that there's better contrast? I wanted to be able to see all the whites in the pattern really well. And that's why I picked it on here. And there are no whites in here yet. So maybe I need to stitch it a little bit more and get some white in there. Okay, this is more like it. <laughs> I love this piece. This is Memories of the Past. This is my only hands across the sea that I have going right now. This is on 40 count coffee tea dyed by my friend Heidi and I started this on Christmas Day. This was my Christmas start. For some reason I don't have the next time I pick this up down in my notebook but I'll look at my past floss tube and see what day that was because this is certainly not one day of stitching for me. This is more like three days I would say, three or four days. So really love this. I'm using the DMCs. I just love this fabric. I love everything about it. This is probably more what the color that I should have put Smith Sampler on. But I wanted to try something a little bit, like Smith Sampler is all this color here. <laughs> but I just love this fabric so much. So maybe I need another one from Heidi for me to do Smith Sampler on. I don't know. I'm of two minds about it. I'm kind of a stubborn person too. So I like to stick with things. Um, but look at all these beautiful purples. Oh, all of the people that I see stitching this, I have just loved how colorful this pattern is. So I was really excited to start it. So this is one strand over two. And this was my Christmas start for 2022. Here's my next whip. This is Modern Folk Embroidery Cold Sea Sampler. Isn't this fabric gorgeous? And I started this for Black Sampler November. And I just love how this looks on this fabric. I love, love, love it so much. Um, I would say over Fruits of Plenty, I probably like this one a little bit better. I'm just stitching with Weeks Mascara 1 over 2. This is 40 count, and this is Whimsical from Be Stitch Me, and it is divine. I started this on November 5th. And then I actually only put in one more day after that on this, and that was on November 16th. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. I love it so much. So I definitely need to grab this back out. I'm so glad that I um, have this piece of fabric from Brandy. It's so beautiful. So that is a cold sea sampler from Modern Folk Embroidery. Next we have Matter's Choice from Carriage House Samplings. This is probably one of my whips that is the closest to a finish. If I could just keep getting this out as regularly as I was at first. I started this on December 22nd. This is a 40 count piece of linen hand dyed by me. It has some nice, big, interesting, unique splotches in it and I love it. 
I'm stitching this with um, some silk from Mrs. Sadas called Rouge, just the one color. And I am doing one strand over two. And this is a heritage sampler for my grandmother. And um, I really, really love it. I really love it. So I just need to grab it out a few more times and I think it will be a finish. I started this on December 22nd. I wrote down that I worked on it more on January 6th and then I definitely forgot to come update my notebook with any more stitching that I put on it. So I will have to do that. But you guys have seen it frequently in my floss tubes in 2023. So I would say this has probably had like four sessions of stitching on it and it's delightful. Hey, here's a Supernatural Sal from the Witchy Stitcher. This one is super fun and playful. Um, most recently I just put in the gin. You guys are gonna see this in my next floss tube. So you're, here's your little preview for that. This one is so fun. I started this work doing the whole border, um, which just, it comes down this far. So you can see how many more creatures I'm gonna have in there. And then I went in with the characters. So we started here. I think we came three, maybe two across. I don't know, we've been bebopping around, but I've been following it, I think, in the order that they've been released. So I started this on August 22nd. It's on a piece of 14 count Ada, um, hand dyed by me to give this really yummy roasted marshmallow kind of look. I was going for like the um, jelly bean, the roasted marshmallow jelly bean. But um, this is stitched with DMCs. This is an exception to most of my patterns that I don't like stitching with two strands. I don't love it, but I don't mind it as much on this, I think, because it's such a large count. But this uses so much DMC 310. <laughs> but if you're looking for a lighthearted Halloween um, stitch, this one is really fun. So I stitched on this, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times um, from August 22nd through December 1st. And then I pulled this out again on March 13th. So I'm gonna go ahead and note that down 2023 and got the gin done. So I think that there's a little bit of back stitching on here that I didn't do yet. I did this thing here that goes with whatever her wand de torch thing is. Um, and then she'll be completely done. But yes, this is a delightful um, lighthearted stitch. This is my Halloween This Way from the Primitive Hair. This is on the Dark Spell Linen 30 count from Primitive Hair. And I started this on May 2nd, 2022. And I stitched on it very recently on March 13th, 2023. And I feel like on that day I put in all this black. So I feel like there must have been more than just two sessions of stitching on this, but maybe just three. So this is a very fun piece to stitch and I have two of the signs down, little ways to go. And I most recently do this, drew this as my random project um, from my floss tube last time. So I'm doing this two over two on um, this, linen for the project from Primitive Hair and I'm using the called for DMC and Overdyed. This is my salute to Abigail from Blackbird Designs. This is on a 40 count piece of linen hand dyed by me and the threads are ones that I pulled from Stash since I didn't have the ones that they suggested on hand and I am really joy enjoying how this is looking with those flosses. So I started this on January 4th and I pulled it out again on February 4th and then March 4th. So here's how far I am after three sittings. It's just four flosses. There are two blues, a red and a white. Well, an off white. And yeah, you guys have seen this a few times recently and you're probably gonna see it every fourth until it's finished. Next we have Away We Ride from Blackbird Designs and this is another 40 count dyed by me. And I started this on October 1st, 2022. I am using the called for 
over dyed flosses and I have to admit I got a little exhausted of just using these two dark gray shades. So I came over here to get in a little bit of color and I just love the way this looks finished up. I love that it's, you know, almost a monochromatic gray piece. Um, but it was just not enough color for me <laughs> when I wanted to start all my Halloween pieces. So I'm excited to pick this back up. It's just at the time I was like, oh, I gotta start some things with more Halloween colors in it. So I really, really love this piece of fabric. Um, it looks like I probably cut a fat quarter in half and dyed two different things with it. Um, but I kind of wish I had a whole fat quarter of this because I really love this. Okay, this is With I Needle In Thread July Wordplay. I am stitching this on Antique Cotton 32 Count r and &R. I, um... Again, same old story. I think I would love this more if it were on a smaller count with just one floss. But I do love her designs. I will be finishing this, um, and I would like to start more of these monthly word plays, but I will do them on a smaller count. So they won't all be the same, the little cushions that I'm gonna make with them. They won't all be the same, but that's okay because I would rather enjoy the stitch more. I also didn't over dye this piece at all. And while it is a yummy kind of caramely, light caramel honey color, I wish that it had maybe a little bit more interest going on. So maybe I should spritz with this with some of that antiquing spray or something afterwards or, you know, make my own. I'm using the called for over dyed flosses and I'm stitching two over two. And I started this on May 22nd, 2022, and I pulled it back out on November 23rd, 2022, and it's just had those two sessions since then. My next whip is the one Carolyn Manning pattern that I have on the go right now. I have quite a few of her patterns. I love them so much, and it's so easy because they're digital downloads. Um, this one is Sundown, and this is on 40 Count Fabric and Flare Stone and it is quite enjoyable. I worked on this for just two days. It's stitched with the called for DMCs, and I started on February 5th. I worked as well on February 6th, and then I got distracted and put it down and went to something else, but I do really, really like it. I love that it's just one strand of floss, and I love how you can see these squares in it. It just, I just love everything about it. It's super fun colors, so really good time. Next we have Paisley Pumpkin from Rosewood Manor. This is one of just two Rosewood Manors that I think I've started, even though I do have a lot of her patterns. I worked on this for two days. I started it on November 21st, and I think I just did it for the 21st and the 22nd, and I really enjoyed these floss colors on here. This is a piece of 40 count fabric over dyed or hand dyed by me. And I was going for the appearance that is in the um, model. It's stitched on a beautiful greeny gray fabric. I made mine a little bit more pigmented in the green to be honest, but oh, this pattern is just so beautiful. And if I just get down to this flower here and I start adding the uh, more than just the middle of the flower, all these delicious yellows and oranges are gonna come in. And it's gonna be so beautiful. So really, really love this pattern. I just need to be back in the fall kind of mood to stitch on it some more. So yeah, delicious. All right, this next pattern is Friendship Garden from Heart and Hand. I think this is my only Heart and Hand pattern that I have going. This is stitched on a piece of Vintage Country Mocha. I believe this is um, probably an 18 count Ada. Yes, this is their conversion at um, Craft Center Fine Stitchery. They had a conversion of the flosses and then they had this piece of fabric all ready to go with it. And I actually do like stitching on 18 count Ada, especially if it's over dyed and if it's not super crunchy. This is a little bit crunchy, honestly. But I do like um, Vintage Country Mocha on this quite a bit. This was from 
my day eight of Mania 2022, and I haven't actually stitched on it anymore since that day, unfortunately, because I do really like the conversion that they have over at the Craft Center Fine Stitchery. I think the little project came with the buttons and beads that it needs to, and this just hasn't gotten rolled or drawn in my random draw that I do in my floss tubes. And that's why I haven't stitched on it again, because I've just been waiting for it to come up more naturally, but I love this pattern. I think it's really cute. I don't have anything else going from this designer, so I would like to get it um, done and decide what I think about the aesthetic and see if it's something that I'm interested in stitching more by them. This is stitch two over one on the 18 count, and so it is two flosses, but I don't mind it on the 18 count with the bigger holes and the more like consistent, um, I think, two over two on linen is harder for me because it's not gonna be, um, you know, there's slubs and things like that and it's not gonna be as straightforward of a design and so my stitches are likely to look a little bit more messy. So anyway, um, yeah, this needs to get drawn. So we'll cross our fingers that this lovely lady gets to come back out. This next pattern is Hello Halloween from Sue Hillis Designs. I'm stitching this on a piece of 36 count pumpkin from Fiber on a Whim. This linen is so beautiful. Granted, it's maybe a little bit more vibrant than I was really going for with this design, but it's gonna look super cool when this is finished. I haven't put any of the skeletons in yet because I'm kind of waiting um, till the end on that. So originally when I start, this is a restart. Originally I started it on this piece of fabric. I, I was doing two threads over one and this is a 36 count and the Fiber on a Whim is tight enough that I took it out and restarted. So I started it on May 20th and then my restart was on November 17th and I did all of this in just that one sitting because I was enjoying it so much. So I really do enjoy this pattern. I just need to, you know, pull it out on one of these days for the Halloween stitching. That would be really fun and get some more progress into it. It also happens to be my day 20 for my mania. So it could get pulled um, on a floss tube. Oh, it just started snowing outside again. And so I could get some more stitching done on it then, but this is just a really beautiful, it's like a mix between an orange and like a melon color, <laughs> this piece of fabric. So this is fun. I'm using the called for DMCs and I think that's everything. Next is First Day of Christmas from Hello by Liz Matthews. This is on 36 count hand dyed by me using the called for DMC conversion. And I plan to stitch all of this in one big piece going three across and four down, which she has a um, measurement and everything for that on, it's a downloadable thing on her website, I believe. And so I'm really enjoying this. I've been getting it out on the 25th of the month. So um, actually today, we'll, I will be stitching on this some more. And I plan to work on this bird and get the bird finished up and then move on to some more of the pattern. But I'm really excited. I've recently picked up a few more of her days, her Christmas days. And so I'm looking forward to getting this all going on one piece. I think it's gonna be so cute. If I'd done it on like 40 count, it would be even smaller and tighter and cuter but I think it's gonna be really fun all together. So excited for that. And she doesn't even have all the patterns released yet. So it's not really like I'm in any kind of rush. <laughs> so anyway, I started this on December 4th, 2022. I have stitched on it on December 10th and then December 28th. And I believe um, February 25th and then it will be again today on March 25th by the time you see my next floss tube, so. There is my progress thus far. My next whip is Teresa Kogut Let Love Rain. I love how these flosses are looking on this piece of fabric. This is a um, piece of 46 count linen hand dyed by me. I had to go a little bit larger than 40 count because this is a huge project. And I only stitched on this one day, sadly. I love this design so much, but I only did one day. I think it's because I was really excited about stitching a bunch of fall and um, halloween -y kind of things. But I need to get this back out. I really love this design. And the colors, although they're slightly more, um, 
drab is not the right word, but they're just so very perfect for fall. Um, they are livened up, I think, by this fabric and the blush tones that I have in here. And so I really do like it. Um, the 46 count keeps me from working on it a little bit because at the time when I started this, I also tried using a magnifying set of glasses and they made me really dizzy to look back and forth from the pattern to this. And so I decided that was not my fave. So I'm just gonna need to pull this out and work on it for a few days until I get used to the 46 count. Um, or just do it, like don't do this at night, just do it in super, super good lighting. So I'm excited to pick this up again. This is again from Teresa Kogut. I started it on September 14th, did this much, and then didn't say hello to it again for this many months. All right, here's my other Rosewood Manor. Um, this is a Tisca to Tasket. I love that pattern. I love the dye on this piece of 28 count Lugana that I did. It's just really dreamy. However, I am doing this one over one on 28 count and I just don't have a lot of projects that are this size and it feels a little small for me. That's equivalent to doing a 56 count and it's just a little small for me. The over dyed flosses, aren't really picking up very well, I feel like, on that size, so I might as well just be using DMC on these, which would be fine. And this pattern is huge, and it's gonna eat up a lot of the overdyed floss, and I'm doing it on such a small count for me because um, it's such a huge pattern. So I figured that would be a good idea, but I just am not sure. I don't know if it was the best idea to do a project full of grays on a gray um, fabric or maybe it's just the size of it that is not really enticing me to stitch more on it but I want to pull this out again and stitch more but this is the same fabric and count that I'm doing my hate on and I just don't love it I just don't love that it's so small and I have to think so hard when I'm doing it so I started this on August 27th and this is all the, everything that I did on August 27th and then I have not picked it up again so I don't know, this project might be a restart or it might be um, just a complete that I'm being done with it for now. It's a beautiful pattern, but I just have other things that I wanna stitch more, you know? So you have to stitch what you're feeling called to stitch on. So this might be going into timeout, I'm not sure. All right, my next whip is the full coverage piece that I really enjoy stitching on. This is Spring Montage from Pain Free Crafts. This is on an 18 count Ada that is very dirty because I take this everywhere and um, it's stitched with DMCs. So I guess I will be washing this when, if ever, I ever actually finish this piece. Um, I started this on June 3rd, 2022, and I've worked on it one, two, three, four, five, six times since. And here's where I'm at. So as you can see, I'm doing diagonal parking that I learned from Blitz Stitch. That is the same method I'm using on my Haid. It's just this is so much more enjoyable because it's 10 whole count smaller than the other one. And um, so yeah, it's just so much more fun. This is with two thread counts though, which is not my fave, but it's making for a really full look in the design. So I, don't feel called to stitch on this like every week like I was at first when I started this, but I have been getting this out maybe once a month, I think, or it's probably less frequently than that. But I really like it whenever I do and I manage to keep stitching on it till I get one whole diagonal done. So you guys are gonna see this again in my floss tube coming up on um, Monday, so I won't go into it too much, but um, just know that I really enjoy it, stitching it with DMCs. The designer has one for each of the four seasons. So, um, you know, it's a lovely thought that I could actually stitch all four of them. It's not likely to happen because this will take me forever, but it's really fun <laughs> as I work on it and it has so many delicious golden honey colors. It's just so, so yummy. So anyway, that is Spring Montage from Pain Free Crafts. This next whip is Patchwork Print Temp from Harding Privé. This is 32 count light mocha. I didn't over dye this or anything. I kind of wish that I did. Um, I started this on May 7th, on the seventh day of Mania 2022. And I think that I only got like this little bunny, 
and these two red flowers and maybe like one other little thing. That was on May 7th and then I stitched on this again on February 12th and February 14th and got the rest of what you see in there. This pattern is, again, it's going to sound like I'm a broken record. I would enjoy this more if I was stitching this with one strand. I'm stitching this two over two with the Call for DMCs. With the exception of the greens, um, they are with Bean Sprout from Classic Colorworks and Collards from Weeks because in the design it says that the designer replaced both greens by one variegated thread. She chose moss by Nina's threads. And I didn't have a green um, over dyed that I thought would be good to represent both colors. So I just picked those two that I liked. And I really do like it. I love the colors together. I think it's really beautiful. But this pattern is kind of boring to me. Boring is not the right word. I'm I'm just not compelled with this. I'm not like, oh, let me get to the next thing because nothing is intertwined with each other. They're all just little things that are sitting right next to each other. And for me, they don't feel like, like one thing doesn't feel like it's leading me to the next that I really want to get to it and stitch it. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably more about the fact that it's 32 count. Um, I don't know. That's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna guess. But I'm hoping this this gets drawn again soon, so I can get some more work on it. But to be honest, it's not one of my favorite whips. All right, this lovely playful whip is Halloween calendar from Tiny Modernist. This is Fiberlicious Once in a Blue Moon, 18 count Ada. This is an example of how I love Ada. If it's on a beautiful die from one of the lovely dyers out there. It's just so beautiful and it's going to look awesome under this Halloween calendar. However, my tastes have changed a little bit since I started this. This was one of the very first projects that I started after starting my floss tube. In fact, there are only two projects that I started before this. So um, I just, I'm not quite as interested in stitching this style right now, even though it's really, really fun. I wonder if maybe one of my daughters will be interested in stitching in this more. I don't want to give up on this project because I feel like this will be really cute to hang um, for Halloween. It's just, I took it on a vacation that we took and stitched on this like solidly for four days or something. And I just got really burnt out of this. And I just... I'm just not feeling that interested in stitching it right now. I hope that that comes back because I do think it's a really cute design. But um, a couple of the designers that I really felt inter interested in early on when I dis was discovering all the online designers that I could purchase from, I'm just not quite as interested in them currently. So I don't know. Like I said before, our, our tastes change and just how we are vibing with something at the current time just might not always be there. So I do think it is adorable. I love it on this fabric. It's stitched with the Call for DMCs. And yeah, it's super, super cute. So if you haven't seen this pattern somehow and you love this cutesy Halloween vibe for your house, you might want to check this one out. Oh, and I started this on April 10th and then I stitched on it again on May 23rd, and then I stitched on it for about four days starting on October 15th, and then that's the last that I stitched on it. Okay, welcome to my oldest whip. Um, we need to zoom out a little bit for this guy. This is Aurora Cabin from Dimensions Gold. This is, I used to do a lot, a lot of Dimensions Gold kits, like pretty much exclusively that's what I would do. And I've probably started this like five years ago or something. And um, I just, <laughs> I got a lot done. And then I got burned out of it. I was a monogamous stitcher back then. Recently you saw me get this out on my floss tube and I was like, I started up here and I started working my way through and just looking for any little spot that didn't have a stitch in it. And making sure we were like full coverage going all the way through. It looks like I'm missing one right there. My watch is trying to tell me to get up and then, so that's my plan. Next time I get this out, I'm just gonna continue going like this. I need to find the specialty floss that I have somewhere that's for this little area here. And it also is combined with the snow at the bottom. So in order to complete that, color complete it, I need to find that. But mostly I just have, you know, have like some area down here and 
tiny bit left in the house. I did a lot of work on the house the last time and then this chunk of tree. So this is doable. I just worked on this so long only that I just got tired of it and I just, I don't love dimension gold anymore really. I don't like that you use like five strands of floss sometimes for some of them. Um, it's just really kind of tedious. So, you know, like this is another example of my tastes change. So I do want to finish this though, because like I said, I'm very stubborn. I want to finish things that I've started. This is a very dirty piece of Ada because it has been with me a long, long time. But just excuse that. Just pretend it's not dirty. <laughs> so anyway, this is my oldest whip and it needs to get out of my whip pile. Oh, this project I love so much. I really need to finish that uh, this up. Um, this is Winter Rose Manor, and I'm stitching this on 28 Count Lugana, but I'm stitching this one over two, and I love it. I love the coverage. I love how nicely it lays. I think that's my favorite thing about it is the stitches lay so, so nice. One thread on even weave. I just adore it. So, um, yeah, I really need to make sure to get this out sooner than later. It's just after Christmas time was over, I thought, yeah, I'm not so much in the mood to stitch Christmas or winter right now because I feel winter in my life, so I don't really want to stitch the winter. I really love this medallion here. So I started this on December 12th, 2022. I got this back out on December 17th, and I stitched a lot between those two dates, and then I put it away and just haven't picked it back up, but I'm using the called for over dyes, and this is a hand dyed piece of 28 Count Lugana, like I said, by me. I thought that the nice sky blue tone would be a good complement to the colors and also solve my problem with the conch color of floss for the house that a lot of people run into. So I just need to get this out again. I'm excited to. I love, love, love this project. This is making me feel like I should make a note to myself that I want to do another thing on 28 count over uh, with one floss. In fact, that's what I should probably do with Tisca to Tasca. I should probably start that piece over, do it one strand over uh, two on 28 count and just get a nice big old piece of 28 count and start that over. And I bet I will love that piece because I love this one. All right, this is a recent start. This is Remember Me from Teresa Kogut. And I am doing this on a piece of 40 count hand dyed by me. If you can't tell, I love stitching on blue fabric. I think it's really, really nice. And I think it is a great pairing with some of the more primitive flosses that designers like Teresa Kogut like to use. I'm actually using my own conversion of flosses. I went ahead and just picked all stuff out of stash that I had that would work for the DMCs that were called for, including some Roxy Floss Co. flosses. And I started this on February 13th, and this is like three days of stitching on just this one piece, and then I put it away. So this was my new start kind of recently. This piece is just super, super fun, and I love how the over are looking in here with this flower in particular. And this pattern, again, is another Teresa Kogut that I just adore. I am a member of her Patreon. She has so much good stuff in there, and so I'm excited to get this one out again. But I don't know when I will because I have so many other things that I want to stitch right now, but I really think this one is sweet. All right, so here is the first Plum Street whip that I have to share with you. This is This Happy Morning, and this is on 36 Count Morning Fog from Be Stitch Me. I'm doing this with one strand over two and using the called for over dyed flosses. I think it's a mix of some over dyed and some DMC. And the hail is really picking up. Um, I started this on December 20th, and I think that I probably did, I don't have this written down, but I think that I did some of this at first, and then I came in the next sitting and did all of this, and getting over here into this very graphic um, house is going to be so cool. I'm really excited for this pattern. Again, I love stitching on blue. It's just so, so fun. So 
really excited for this. Um, I need to go back and look through the videos and see when my other sitting was of this because I know I didn't just do this in one sitting. So in any case, I love Plum Street. I love, love, love. I collect almost all of her patterns. I just um, don't really want to start too many of them at one time. So I need to get some more work done on this. All right, welcome to what will probably be another one of my forever whips. This is Reflet de Soie, Louisa Barney. And I started this on January 15th of this year. Look, surprise, surprise, it's stitched on another piece of blue fabric. <laughs> this one is actually a pretty good mix of blue and beige modeling together. So I just thought it would be kind of fun. I know this is a really traditional looking French sampler and I just thought, hey, why not mix it up? and do something kind of different. So I'm stitching this with 103s. And um, again, if you remember, like I was telling you with this Smith sampler, 103s are just a little thin for me. I wish they were a little bit more plump, but I do need to get this out and put some more progress on it because I just love the way this project looks as a whole. I hope that I end up loving it with this quite interesting color palette that I have going on here with the blue and beige mix. And this is on a big old fat half because this is a huge project. So anyway, I'm quite excited. I started this, like I said, on January 15th and I stitched on it more on January 20th and the 21st and then I put it up and I haven't got it out again since then. Apparently, I'm not afraid to start a bunch of Teresa Kogut's at the same time. This is another Kogut piece, and this is Folksy Thomas. I love this. I also really love this piece of fabric that I dyed. Um, this is a piece of 40 count, and it just has browns and greens and gold, and it's all the goodness in there, and it's gonna look really cool when it's done. And I don't think this is a super huge piece either. So this shouldn't take me too long. It's just that I got out of the mood of stitching a fall piece at the time. So I started this on November 5th. I pulled it out again on November 12th. And this is my happy space, 40 count, one over two. I love the look of it. I love how my stitches lay with this count. And it's just so much more enjoyable for me. So yes, I just need to feel I need to feel in the fall mood, and then you will see this lovely Thomas again. This fabric is just so yummy. I couldn't stitch everything on this, but I can sure enjoy it when this one's out. Okay, this is Stitch Rovia Be Ink Spired. It is on a piece of 18 count, very crunchy Ada that I didn't dye at all because I wanted the tattoo style design to really show against this pattern. However, I think this one's gonna go into timeout. You haven't seen me put a lot of things into timeout because I've recently put a bunch of things in timeout. But this one, I started on day three of Mania last year, May 3rd, 2022, and I got it out again on May 1st, 2022. And when I was stitching during that time, I just wasn't loving it and I was thinking, I need to decide if I even really love this enough to keep stitching on it. And I think the design is adorable. I just don't think that I like the process enough to really want to keep going with the project. So I think this is going into timeout. It has really beautiful, bright, colorful DMCs for it. And they're just, this, this, this stitching is just not my jam right now. I don't like the over two on the crunchy Ada. I think it's an adorable design though. Maybe if I were doing this on a smaller count piece of linen, I would really, really like this. Um, so I don't know, maybe this one will be a restart. I'm not sure, but it's in timeout for now. Okay, Halloween and Hawk Run Hollow. You guys have seen this one on my channel a few times. I really love this. I think this might have been my first piece I started on 40 count, or if not very first, it was pretty close to the first. Um, and that's when I learned that I really, really love it. So, um, yeah, I'm just flipping through my book here. I think it was. I think it was the first 40 count. So this is on just an un dyed piece of Newcastle. I kind of wish that I'd chosen something over dyed, but to be honest with you, a lot of the blocks are going to be practically full coverage, so you won't really see it that much. It just makes it for the, the stitching experience while I'm stitching. I don't get to look at the beautiful over dyed fabric, so... You know, it is what it is. I'm stitching this with DMC, which look beautiful. There are way too many flosses for me to probably stitch it with 
MPIs, but that would have been really fun too. I didn't know at the time how much I love stitching with silks. So this is from Carriage House Samplings. I love all of the Hawk Run Hollows. This is the Halloween one, and I just started with this block, and this is all I've done on it. Even though I've stitched on this thing maybe four different settings, three or four, this is still all I've done because it is a lot, it's like pretty much full coverage. So, um, you can see that I started this pattern when I was still hoop stitching. I haven't stitched in a hoop in a very long time, but, um, I started this back on June 28th of 2022. I pulled it out again in October on the 8th, again on February 31st, but I'm pretty sure there was another time in there between the 8th and the 31st. So, Anyway, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's going to be so fun. I have the shores at Hawk Run Hollow ready to go, um, but I don't want to start it till this is done. But honestly, like, I'm not getting this project done anytime soon. So who am I fooling? Nobody. I'm not fooling anybody. So anyway, it's really, really cute. I love it. And I just, you know, if I want to get some more done, I have to pull it out some more. Okay, this is Cardinal Points by Long Dog Samplers. This is on a piece of 14 count Crunchyata, and I don't love this piece. I, in fact, I decided while I was stitching it in the very first sitting that I didn't love this piece. So I'm in love with how this project looks when it's done. It is so striking. It's so fun to stitch with so many colors. I think I got really turned off with the fact that I started somewhat in the middle-ish and I started with this Halloween looking urn and I was so like, what is what going on with this Halloween piece? So I came up and was working on this green and that was more enjoyable. But honestly, the problem is this 14 count Crunchyata. I don't love it. So even though I have quite a bit done, this is gonna be a restart for me because I never ever wanna pick this up because it's just so tactily unappealing. I wasn't aware of how much I would dislike that when I started this piece. And I think I wanna keep stitching it. I think I like the design enough to keep stitching it. So I wanna enjoy it. So unfortunately, I mean really, my, my stitching journal says I started this on August 24th and I don't have another date after that. So I think I just like really plowed through for a day or two and then I didn't stitch any more on it because I wasn't in love with it and I need to restart this on another piece of fabric. So that's my current plan. It is, it's called for a 18 count white Ada. Um, maybe if I had it on a beautiful piece of over dyed 18 count, maybe I would like it more. I don't know. And I would need to do one strand instead. This is two because it's on 14 count. So maybe I'll experiment with over dyeing some 18 count and see if I like it on that with the one strand. I just, I think this is really beautiful. I just hate this piece of fabric that I did this on. It was so silly of me to start that and not think that through some more. So in any case, you love, you learn. That's what this whole life is about. You love, you learn. So. I really am excited to um, to restart this. It's just, I am more excited to start new things than to restart this. So hopefully this will get a restart before too long. Because I love Long Dog. And this is with the called for flosses. And I think that's everything you need to know about it. Well, hello. This is my most vivid sampler by far in my uh, whip pile. This is Mary Morgan's from Fox and Rabbit. I'm stitching this on a piece of fabric and flare 40 count neutral and I do like the modeling in here. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I however got kind of turned off by how clashy this sampler is because there's so many primary colors all right next to each other. I was a little bit, it was making me like hyperactive when I looked at it. I was like this is so, my eye is having such a hard time with everything that's going on. It just didn't feel like what my calm stitching needlework felt like to me. I know I need to get this back out and work on it again and see what I think about it. 
However, I do love that it's one strand over two on 40 count. It's using the called for DMCs, which are all beautiful. The very middle of the design has this huge, gorgeous rose, and I probably would have loved it more if I started there. It's just that I started in this very primary color tone here, and I just couldn't get past that. I tried to, <laughs> and over here, these are some of my favorite colors, these purples and yellows. It's just so loud. My brain doesn't know what to do when I'm stitching on this, so I had to take a break. So I started this on September 12th, and I think I stitched on it for like two days, and then I put it away, and I haven't touched it since. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this lady, because I, I like it. I just, I probably need to like come down from here and start doing some of the floral and see what I think about that, so. All right, here's another one you guys have seen recently. This is the January block from season two, Hands-On Designs, A Year of Celebrations continues. This is using the Fat Quarter Shop conversion of um, threads, and this is on a piece of 40 count Bee Stitch Me Hot Cocoa. I need to look back at my calendar, but I think that I stitched, I started stitching on this somewhere around the last day of January. I mean, I'm looking at my notebook, but I don't have the note in there. So I need to look back at my floss tubes and see. So she has on the hands-on design, um, I think it was on the blog, she has this border so that you can stitch them all together. So that's my plan. It's gonna be really small and cute. And I love it. And so this whole block is completely finished. So we'll see when this comes out again for me to stitch on February. Um, but yeah, I need to go figure out my notes on this and see. Of course, this is over one. Excuse me, this is one over two. And um, check out the Fat Quarter Shop website if you enjoy this conversion. I heard about it from Nicole Spohr. All right, pulled way back out for this one. This is another Dimensions Gold Kit. And as you can see, I have a pretty big um, stain on there. But this is a full coverage piece and the edge goes literally right to where the stain is. So um, it'll be covered up, hopefully. And somehow there's another one here. And apparently there's another one here. I don't know what happened to this. I actually don't know if this will even get finished. I started this at the same time that I started, um, well, no, I started this before I started my diagonal parking. I wanted to do some horizontal parking and see if I liked that better. Turns out, no, no, I do not like that better. So I actually haven't pulled this back out, but also because I don't really love Dimensions Gold and how they use like three and four strands sometimes. So as you can see, a lot of this is tent stitch. There's just a little bit of full crosses in here. And basically I just, I took a 10 by 10 block and then I went, I filled everything in that 10 by 10 block and then I went over and then I would park vertically as I went down. And so yeah, I just did that all the way over to the edge and I made it the 10 by 10 and I started the next 10 and then I got kind of tired of it right there. So I started this on March 20th, 2022. This is a kit from Dimensions. It's called European Bistro. I also stitched on this on April 10th, April 26th, April 30th, and May 24th. And then I guess I was kind of like, I have had enough. I also self-gridded this using I like um, like an erasable um, fabric pen kind of thing. And I just, I don't know what I think about this. This project might be in timeout as well. I think, I think, yeah, I think I'm putting it in timeout. I'm just, I have one Dimensions Gold. If I really want to stitch on a Dimensions Gold, I'm going to pull out the other one and finish it. And if I want to stitch on a parking piece, I have two other ones to do. And if I want to stitch on a full coverage, same thing. I have those two other ones to do. And although this design is really beautiful, I'm just, I'm not about that Dimensions Gold life right now. She's not my boo. So I think this one's going to dime out. All right, this is Plum Street Samplers, Adam, The Adams Family, and this is on 36 Count Sand Dollar by Be Stitch Me. I started this on November 4th, and I think I must have stitched on this just that one setting, and then I was done for the season. So I just, I picked this up, I guess, right after Halloween and thought, let me do this for some autumn stitching but then I had a bunch of other projects I wanna do. I also think that I had a similar problem that I had to the Blackbird Designs Away We Fly because I was just kind of tired of stitching these dark colors. I wanted something a little bit more 
lively and I needed some more color in there. So I went to color and put it in, but still it just didn't really do it for me. So this is, like I said, 36 count. I'm stitching one strand over two and I would love to get some more progress on this. I still love it. It's definitely not in timeout or anything. It's just, it didn't, it didn't keep with me after <laughs> that one weekend I was stitching on it. I just had other things I was into. Okay, this is Heartstring Samplery Scary Sampler. I only have two things going from Heartstring Samplery and I do really like this piece. Um, however, <laughs> it doesn't look like I do because I don't have that much done on it, but I really, really do. Firstly, I love this piece of linen. It is so, so good. Um, this is a piece that I hand dyed myself and it wouldn't really work for a lot of things, but for a Halloween piece, Certainly. So this was my favorite thing that came out of um, Expo. And I love that there's so many little hidden secret things in this pattern. It's so, so cool. So I started this on September 24th. And this is what I did in that one day. Or maybe it was this day and the day after. I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count Belfast linen. And that's why it kind of has this grittier look. And um, I think that's a little bit why I didn't love this as much because it's a 32 count. And so I do still like the coverage that I got with the over with the one strand over two. I wouldn't change that, certainly. It's just that the weave was like a little bit looser than I was expecting. And so the stitches were laying a little bit bigger. And I tend to like things a little bit on the smaller side, it seems like. But um, I think this is the same size that I was stitching my um, Winter Rose Manor, so I should be super down for this size. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was just there were so many Halloween things that I wanted to stitch all at the same time, and I just couldn't stick with this, but I need to pull this back out. As soon as I'm in the mood for more Halloween stitching, I need to pull this back out. In fact, maybe the next 13th of the month I will pull this one out. Next up we have Autumn Cloche by Hello from Liz Matthews. I'm stitching this on a piece of 40 count flax and I'm using the called for NPIs, which I really, really love. I kind of wish that I'd over dyed this flax a little bit, um, but I think that I started this right before I was getting into to over dyeing like all of my stuff. So um, yes, this, I started on September 29th and I think I just worked on it for that one day or like two days and then I stopped. I don't know if it was because I wasn't expecting this pattern to be so gray besides the greens. A lot of this is very gray and very moody kind of rainy feeling and I was just like excited to try more things at that time but I have since in the past six months learned that I just love MPI so much. They're the, they're the size of silk that is so enjoyable to me. It's a little bit plumper. And so I need to get this back out and just really enjoy the feel of that stitch. So this is my autumn cloche. Okay, who remembers that I was stitching this? I bet nobody. <laughs> this is the Gnome Superheroes from Soda Stitch. This is on Picture This Plus Pewter 28 count. I feel like this is kind of a waste of this piece of fabric because I really wish that I was just doing this one strand over two instead of this is two over two. But another one that I've learned my lesson on, and of course I started right in the middle of the fabric on this piece, so I can't really start over, I think. What I might do because I've just not, I've kind of fallen out of love with this project. Well, okay, I like it because it has Harry Potter in there, it has some Marvel superheroes and stuff, but I don't love the two strands over two. And even though he is turning out so, so cute, I basically have this one guy done and I think I moved up here into Hulk. So maybe I should just get it out and stitch on it some more and see if my feelings have changed in a year. I stitched on this on April 30th and I think for like, two days after that and that is it. But I just, I'm feeling sad that I don't want to stitch on this piece of linen or fabric because it is so beautiful. Picture this plus pewter. It is so, so beautiful. It is a gray teal, gorgeous modeling, just like I like, I love this. And so I'm just kind of sad. So I probably should get this out and stitch on it some more. I just already know I'm not gonna love it because it's the two strands. And 
I just, I want to be stitching something else on this beautiful piece. All right, here's my other heartstring samplery. Yes, this is Consider the Lilies. Yes, it is on 40 count. One strand over two with the called for overdides. Why have I not stitched on this? It is exactly in my wheelhouse. It's on a piece of flax by Zweigart, hand dyed by me, 40 count, that has all this beautiful pink on it, which I thought would be super sweet for Consider the Lilies. There is no reason that I am not stitching on this. It is literally just because I have so many other things that I love and want to stitch on that I don't pull this out and get more done on it. So I literally st started this on August 14th and that's it. This is my start and then I never picked this back up again. And it is, it is hogging this huge piece of beautiful fat half of linen just fresh unused linen so I really do like this design so I need to pull this out it's so heartstring sampler look how similar this looks to scary sampler she just kind of took this vibe and turned it into those scary guys from stranger things and that is so so cool that's why Beth twist is so awesome um so yeah I just need to get this out I just need to and it's the perfect time of year for it it's spring so okay here's my goal I'm gonna have some work done on this before my next floss tube. All right, this little drop of sunshine is Hawaii from Satsuma Design. This is on a piece of 16 count Ada. I believe it came modeled like this from the craft store. I don't think I hand dyed this. Um, I'm gonna assume that it came like this from the store. So I started this on August 5th. This is a commemorative piece to remember my trip with my husband to Hawaii um, for our 12th anniversary, which was a post postponement of our 10th anniversary with trip, which we didn't get to take because of COVID. And this is um, a bunch of things that I don't necessarily like. <laughs> it's two flosses over one. 16 count, pretty crunchy Ada. Um, but I do love how bright and happy these colors make me feel. I love how it makes me remember the happy memories. I will be finishing this piece, even though it's um, some elements of it are things that I don't necessarily love anymore. So I need, I need to get some work done on this. I'm gonna, after this video, make myself a wheel, a decision wheel. And I'm going to be including all of my whips, especially the ones that aren't like kind of maybe in timeout or totally in timeout. So that things like this get worked on because I don't have a, a like day of the month to work on it. Although I could work on it on the 10th since that's my anniversary. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I'll have this be my anniversary stitching on the 10th. I don't hate that idea. And then I will get finished sooner. I really love Satsuma Street. I think they are so cute. Um, all their designs are so, so precious and super fun. Um, so I really do want to get, get work on this. So I'm going to plan to work on this on the 10th on next month. All right. Look at this cute little pattern. This is joyfulness from little house needleworks. I started this on May 10th, 2022. So this was my 10th day of mania. I'm trying to see if I have in here what this piece of fabric is. No, I did not save it. It looks like a piece of probably 32 count some just natural something and it is not my favorite to stitch on it is a little too wobbly but this is one day of stitching so this was day 10 of mania I was on an airplane going to take my son and brother for graduation trip we went to Orlando and it was a crazy busy weekend where we were going and spending all day at um, Universal Studios and so I just stitched this on the plane to <laughs> Florida and this is what I got done so um, yeah it makes me remember that so I like it for that reason it's not very big so this shouldn't take me very long to finish at all so I just need to get back out. It's been on my randomizer and it just hasn't gotten drawn at a floss tube. So I'm just waiting for it to get drawn. 
All right, this is my Strawberry Fields Forever from Blackbird Designs. This one, you'll know by now the reason why I haven't done more work on this. <laughs> this is stitched on a piece of 32 count, and I used two strands, and I wish that I hadn't, but I didn't know at the time, so I'm a broken record, guys. This is Vintage Country Mocha, 32 count, and um, I started on July 15th. This is how much I did on July 15th, and then I did not stitch on it again since then. So, that is the problemo with this piece. It's not that big of a piece, I don't think. I think this is the house. It's just going to take up, like, half of this eighth of a yard. And, um, yeah, I just need to get this out. So, this is going on the wheel because I want to do more progress on this, or I want to restart this. And I'm stitching this with the called for overdive. All right, here's another piece from last year's Mania that has got nothing done on it since I started it on May 9th, 2022. This is Summertime from Primrose Cottage Stitches. This is this really cute piece with all of the words and a few little images to make you think of summertime. The colors are so beautiful. This color is so beautiful. I'm stitching this with the super vibrant DMCs that are called for, and I do want to continue on this. So this is stitched on a piece of 28 count, and it is two over two. Um, I kind of wish that I did one over two, but hey, you know. Anyway, um, I really, really like it. I just, I've been waiting for it to get pulled from Mania, and it hasn't yet, so I'm excited to get more in on this. I think it's going to be really nice. I love that it's just on plain white Lugana. And so cross your fingers. Cross your fingers that this gets drawn. I'm going to put this one on the wheel too because this needs to get some more done on it because I think it is sweet. It is maybe one of my only pieces that I have that's in this kind of style from when I very first started up stitching again that I still want to keep going with. And I think it's probably because it's all mostly just words and font. So in any case, I'm um, looking forward to putting some more in on this, designed by the brilliant Lindsay Waite. All right, this is a kit called Autumn Sampler from the company Marajka, I think, and it's a 16 count Ada, and I'm using the kit threads. Um, I am not in love with this <laughs> for the same reasons you already know, so I don't need to reiterate um i wish that i had just picked a different fabric really i mean i could restart this and i might love it on a different fabric or i could just push through and try to get a little bit more done but it could, because i think this pattern is pretty cool it has like an overlay of additional pieces on top of the pattern so i started this on september 12th i think i stitched on it for maybe two days and then i put it down um, because I just, I just wasn't feeling it. It was reminding me of Dimensions Gold, and I was just like, oh no. So, anyway, I need to pick this back up again. It's, it reminds me of Reflata Swa, actually. Um, so, I need to do some more work on this. As soon as I'm feeling summer coming on, like mid to late spring, I'm going to pick this up because this is, feels very summer to me, even though it's called Autumn Sampler. So I just think that the whole design is really, really cute. I just gotta figure out how I'm feeling about this kind of dimensions gold, combining threads, whole vibe that's going on here. This is Ink Circles Half the Fun. I love the floss. I love the fabric. This is Shale. Um, I think this is picture this plus. Oh shoot. I didn't write down. Well, I think it is. I love an 18 count Ada over dyed. This fabric is just so, so beautiful. It's a gray mauve purple and it's delicious. This Gloriana floss is charcoal. I believe it's what is called for. I believe it's what is called for. And this is that pattern where it's all, like, it could be facing any way because it's just going to repeat itself four times as you go around. So I started this on May 12th, and as part of Mania, I did a little bit in here somewhere. And then, again, on September 17th, it got drawn for me to stitch on it, and I got this much done. So that's two settings. The only thing I don't love about this is I chose to do two flosses instead of one, as you know not my fave, but um, yeah, 
I think it's really, really beautiful. So I just needed to get rolled. Roll, come on, have the fun, you can do it. All right, this is Lavender Farm from Cory Abatacori. This is on 28 count Irish linen. And I started this on May 17th as part of Mania. I stitched on it again on December 18th, 2022 and haven't stitched on it since then. Unfortunately, I started this with two um, floss threads. I do really love this piece and um, I th I'm gonna continue it on here even though I can imagine that I would love this so much more if I had only chosen one floss strand. But this is just like an ode to my love of purple in this pattern. I also have the sunflower one because I also love yellow and so I adore this design. I think it's so, I think it's so, so cute. It's sampler reminiscent and I'm really excited to put some more work into it. So it's on one of my randomizers to be drawn to be worked on and I probably need to put it on the other one too because it's so, so cute. So I'm excited for this. I'm using the called for DMC. Okay, this cool design is Happy Halloween from Brian Jackson. This is so awesome. I saw somebody post this on Instagram, I think, their finished design of it, and I just thought it was so cool. This is a cauldron for the O for Happy Halloween, I believe. Um, and this is, did I say this is by Brian Jackson, and this is Beach Walk by Under the Sea Fabrics. It's a 28 count, again. <laughs> don't kill me for saying it just a few more times but I'm stitching this with two strands and I really wish it was just one that's okay I love this design so much I love this fabric so much look at how rad it is it has just a little bit of pinky in this light color a lot of blue very light blue and um, as you can see I haven't got this out since I was stitching on it in a hoop I love it. I just need to um, want to stitch some Halloween and I will get this back out. I started this on June 20th and then I stitched on it some more on August 1st and I need to push through. I need to push through even though I don't love the two strands or I need to decide to restart this. I could just pull out each one and just restitch each color with one strand. Maybe that's what I'll do because that's what I did on that other Halloween piece that I love so much more on the on the with just the one strand. So I gotta think about that. But in any case, um, this one is really cute. If you're looking for some fun Halloween stitching, another one that I really recommend because I love it and it's from a designer that you don't hear about that much. And so I wanna give props to him, get his name out there. And this piece of fabric is so good. Hey, this is future me. Somehow, I forgot my birthday start, which is B Stitches from Jeanette Douglas. And you guys just saw this in my last floss tube, but of course I need to include it as a whip. So I started this last August for my birthday. I love it. It has specialty stitches and just beautiful silk flosses. And I've only worked on this two times since August, but I love it every single time I pull it out. I'm stitching this on, I believe it's 36 count affogato, and I'm waiting for the London Dairy Linen Floss to come in before I can um, pull this back out again and work on a big portion of it, but you will see it again soon, I hope. All right, this is my final whip to share with you. Um, this is another Long Dog Sampler, so this is my second of two that I have, and this is Sneak. I'm stitching this on a piece of 40 count over dyed by me with all of these delicious um, variation tones of cranberry. And I'm using one color of silk from Mrs. Sadas called Love. I started this on October 3rd and I believe that I just stitched on this for a few days from October 3rd. And then I stopped and moved on to something else. But I love this pattern. I need to pick it back up. This is so, this is exactly how I feel about that cold sea sampler from Modern Folk Embroidery. It gives me the same exact vibes. I just want to get more done on this. So I will, I need to, I need to pull it back out. So did I say this is 40 count? And of course it's one over two and I love it. And it's so easy that you just use the one um, skein, that you just use the one hank of silk. It makes it so, so nice. So that is my final whip, woohoo!
All right, so that was my 2023 whip parade. I hope that you enjoyed. It's so helpful to just spend a little bit of time looking through each of your whips because it really helps you remember what you wanted to work on more and it helps you kind of reevaluate if you're even really into things anymore, which I definitely found that I did during this whip parade. So I really appreciate that you joined me today. If you enjoyed, please give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you back for my regular video coming up on Monday where I'm going to talk about whips and haul and plans and all that stuff. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you back again very soon. Bye!